Getting salty with Silsic. Hey everyone and welcome to another episode. Today I'm coming to you from Cocoa Beach and I want to talk about the do's and the don'ts of sea turtle nesting season. Sea turtle nesting season goes from May 1st until October 31st. And there are certain things if you're out here on the beach you should and should not do. I'm going to start with one of the things you should not do. If you look over my shoulder here, you see yesterday somebody built a huge, well, a sea turtle. Not really a sandcastle, but a sea turtle. And this is a big no-no for uh, to leave on the beach during sea turtle nesting season. What happens is, is if there's a nest up that way near the dunes, and at night when these sea turtle hatchlings crawl out of the nest and start climbing down the beach towards the ocean here, this is a trap. And they can get stuck in there. And if they don't get out of it before the sun rises, they can then overheat and die. And they're really right there waiting for a predator to find them. So this is a don't. If you're out on the beach and you see one of these, see something like this at night, here's what you should do. You should get rid of the evidence. A few more things you can do for sea turtles during nesting season is to minimize your time on the beach, especially bright lights, uh, fires on the beach, but pretty much in this area, that's not even allowed during nesting season. Um, don't go for walks with bright flashlights looking for sea turtles. That spooks the females when they're climbing out of the water. And if they are spooked, they'll return back to the beach and not lay eggs at that spot. So when hatchlings do crawl out of the nest, they typically, they typically do this in the evening at night and they look for the brightest light. Typically what should be the brightest light is the horizon over the ocean. So they will see that lighter area and they head towards it, leading them to the ocean. The problem is out here along the beach we have all these condos and homes and buildings and so forth and they have lights. Now during nesting season we should minimize the use of those lights and use special bulbs. Now speaking of those hatchlings, look right here in front of me. All of this are the crawls from hatchlings. Last night, a nest right over there, the turtles, the hatchlings came out and headed towards the beach. And all around me, we can see their tracks going in all sorts of different directions, which kind of indicates they were a little confused on which way to go. Let's talk a little bit more about lighting near the beach. Basically, you have two options, three options. Don't turn on lights at night or buy sea turtle friendly fixtures and or sea turtle friendly light bulbs. And basically what these do is they minimize the amount of light that's gonna reach the beach. And they use wavelengths that the sea turtle hatchings and females do not see very well. Anything from the 5, 80 nanometers and up longer. So that's very important. So there's always one other really good practice when you're out here at the beach. And that is to keep off the dunes. That's a little bit about the do's and don'ts of sea turtle nesting season. Thanks for watching.